most fractures heal, but if you get a non-union, um, basically so it, like, it doesn't heal at all, they can't tell for a while because the main detection right now is x-ray. Um, so there's nothing you can do for patients at the moment until like their fracture hasn't healed for three times longer than normal. So they're basically just like walking around with a broken bone and there's kind of nothing you can do. So the point of the project is to use this protein or a degradation product of the protein to detect when that's happening. I want to go to med school. Um, so I think when I graduated college, I didn't really know that. And I thought maybe I wanted to go get a PhD. Um, and then for a variety of reasons, I decided I didn't want to. But I think research is important to do when you want to be a physician because I think understanding the like underlying biochemistry and biology of tissue healing um, really helps you understand like what can you actually do as a physician to treat patients. I think that you know when you come to a conference like ORS, um, you can go to all of these different sections. So if you work on bone, you can go to cartilage sections or tendon sections or ones on you know clinical outcomes for back injuries, that kind of thing. And the work, the work that people are doing, um, I think gives you really good insight and new ideas for your own projects and how you can relate sort of what they're doing other tissues to your own things. So I actually worked, when I graduated college, I worked at another research institute. Um, and I think that one was really great and I learned a sort of a lot of basics, but I think that what makes Spry really special is that it, you have such close access to all of these physicians and you really understand sort of what the patients actually need based on like working with our surgeons. Um, and I think that that, without such a close tie, um, it's much harder to make like your actual basic science research clinically translatable.